Mido Masia will resume in the High Court in Pretoria this morning. The eight uh, dragged Masia behind a police van in 2013. In his judgment, Judge Bird Bam dismissed the versions of the accused, saying their evidence was improbable. Masia's family was elated and hopes the men will be sent to jail for a long time, they said. Judge Bam, in turn, rejected evidence from all the accused versions of events, describing it as unrealistic and improbable. Now, for the latest, our reporter, Mangoba Mtunu, he's outside the High Court in Pretoria, and he joins us in the street there. Very good morning to you, Mangoba. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Evan. Mangoba, just set the scene for us today. What's the expectation in the court today? Are we going to, are we going to see this matter proceed? Well, Eben, certainly today was meant to be the final chapter in this trial that has dragged on for two years, for over two years, uh, uh, actually. And we're hoping for some kind of uh, uh, arguments, in fact, closing arguments, to be presented by both the defense and the state, uh, suggesting a sentence that they would like to see being imposed on the eight former policemen. But we've just recently learned uh, from the defense that uh, they intend to call for a postponement uh, with uh, Judge Bergbam, saying that uh, some of the reports that are needed uh, in this case are not ready at this stage. And we do understand that uh, those reports that are not ready are reports by uh, uh, probation officers, which will really detail uh, what they think should be given to these eight officers. And therefore, they play a critical role for the defense to try and mitigate for a lighter sentence. And uh, uh, without them, really, uh, it will be difficult for the defense to have uh, a solid case to present to Judge Bergbam. So basically, they've asked for a postponement today, saying that they're not ready. We do know that there are eight of these officers involved in the matter, and each of them uh, will have a different probation report that will be presented before court. So some of them are not ready at this stage, and therefore the defense says it's not going to be possible to continue with proceedings today, and it's going to ask for a postponement. We have also spoken to the state. The state does indicate that uh, uh, it will also, I mean, not oppose uh, that particular call by the defense if the reports indeed are not ready. We know that the state is also going to oppose uh, these uh, uh, suggestions by probation officers uh, in trying to aggravate for a harsher sentence for the eight uh, former policemen. And therefore, they are very critical uh, in proceedings here at the North Houghton High Court. And therefore, it seems that uh, so far, uh, the proceedings will not going to continue today. But we don't know uh, how Judge Bert Bram is going to react to that. We know that uh, he doesn't, uh, it doesn't take kindly to postponements and it doesn't take kindly to delays in the case. So uh, he could uh, really, uh, uh, you know, make an order to that effect uh, that, uh, you know, we can maybe start or comment with some of the proceedings or arguments. But uh, at this stage, it's highly unlikely that uh, this is going to happen. Mangoba, this is, a, this is a case that really gripped the nation, both South Africa and even Mozamb Mozambique, because Mido Messias is from there. Just, just quickly, for those who haven't followed this case, just recap for us this case, how high, high profile it is, and what happened. Well, certainly this is a case that has uh, uh, grabbed the attention of both uh, local, uh, uh, local South Africans, I mean South Africans uh, here, as well as uh, the international community, as we know that uh, that dragging uh, video that uh, was taken at the scene there in uh, uh, Davidton two years ago made it uh, to international news and uh, was indeed the topic of discussion for days. So certainly this case has been followed by many both here at home and in Mozambique. Even the Mozambican media has been here in court following these proceedings very closely. So certainly uh, it's an issue that uh, uh, will continue to be talked about and uh, an issue that has uh, really raised uh, uh, the questions around the way police uh, react and the uh, police brutality issues as well. Uh, so certainly one of the most issues that will uh, stay for a, a long time in fact here in South Africa. But uh, just to recap on what happened is that uh, uh, we saw that video in uh, 2013 of Mido Masia being dragged by the policemen on the streets of Davidton after resisting arrest. They uh, have told the court that uh, Masia was the first to attack them, saying that he disarmed a, a, a policeman, and therefore police reinforcement had to be called in to
to try and assist uh, in trying to bring uh, Mido Masia to mm. book. And uh, that's the reason why we saw Mido Masia being apprehended by about uh, uh, nine police officers there on the scene. And uh, eventually it led to his dragging, which uh, was uh, captured on cell phone footage as we saw. Now the policeman told the court that uh, they did not intend to drag Mido Masia, saying that he had accidentally hooked himself to the police van while resisting arrest, they also claim that they did not uh, hit Mido Masia as it was mm. claimed by the state that uh, he was assaulted in police holdings. Mm. The policeman denied all of this, but uh, in the end, we saw Judge Bertram not believing their version and saying that, uh, you know, it's, it, 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 he really doesn't understand how these uh, eight policemen would have not seen that Mido Masia was injured and given him the necessary medical attention. He therefore rejected all of their versions and uh, uh, found them guilty on a principle of common purpose, which uh, basically means that all of them should be equally held liable for Mido Masia's death. And therefore, uh, they were given uh, a conviction uh, of guilty, uh, a guilty conviction for that murder charge, which was brought by the state. Mangoba, thank you very much for that update. That's Mangoba Mpunu. He's outside the High Court. Of course, it's a high-profile case. Mido Masia, who, well, died in police custody. It's now two years ago. Uh, it looks like there's a postponement on the cards, but it's not confirmed. We'll let you know a little bit later on this very channel what happened in the Mido Masia case today.